getting introduced to Easton, it really felt like I was leveling up. Like my game as an instructor, uh, it felt like I'm now able to offer my girls uh, just the whole world that is Easton softball and what Easton's trying to do in the sport is trying to leave a lasting footprint and trying to change the game. So Easton's already done so much um, in terms of having the best bat in fast pitch um, and trying really, really hard to develop quality products, including Jen's new gear. So it just felt like kind of the next step. I got into softball when I was 12 years old. Um, I was playing baseball growing up and why some one of my best friends had told me hey baseball is kind of like the path for guys you know softball could get you a scholarship and in my mind I'm like well I don't really care about that right now I just really like playing baseball like <laughs> and I had two brothers growing up um, but softball it seemed like again the next step and that seems to be the a real theme in where I've gone in softball is like hey what's the next thing what's how are we going to grow how are we going to get better so it seemed like the next step. I look at softball as a vehicle for many different types of impact. Um, softball has given me a ton of life lessons, given me some of my best friends, and I guess I can't put into words the impact that softball's had on my life. I didn't think that I was going to make softball a career of mine. Um, in my mind, when somebody asks me what I do, I say, I teach softball for a living, I teach girls how to play catch. Um, but I try to leave the same impact that softball has that softball's left on me and all the girls I teach. I think the mental part of the game is the most important part. I mean, looking back, I've been really, really fortunate. I played collegiate ball, but then I played overseas. I got to play for Team Philippines. And if I had the same mental game, mental strategies, and just perspective, I would have been an All-American probably all four years that I played. It's, it's really the, a game changer. And I think that it's definitely not taught early enough. I think one of the things that I wish that I had learned sooner was to speak up. Speak up, um, it's not easy, but I think if I was made to give my opinion, to raise my hand, to go first, and to not be that person in the background that was always kind of doing what I was told to do just because I thought that that was me being a good kid or me not questioning or me being uh, super respectful. In reality, when we don't raise our, raise our hand or go first or really try without fear of being wrong, um, we're not really learning as fast as we could be learning. So I think if I would have learned that lesson sooner, I would have grown a lot faster. I mean, if I could give one piece of advice to a younger player, I'd say stop being afraid of how great you can be. I would say stop letting other people speak for you and start trying your own ideas sooner. I mean, you never know. You could be the one that has the best idea. You could be the one that uh, could be the leader of your team, but if you never try, you'll never know.